For this first example, we will determine the distance between exits for this floor plan we see above here. What this question tells us is that uh, this building is a five-story office building and that uh, uh, the stair risers are 190 millimeters. So that means that these stairs here, the vertical dimension of those each step is 190 millimeters. So how do we do that? We're going to do this using a number of steps. I think this is uh, probably the best way to do it. These are steps that I made up. Okay, it's just so that you can keep on, trap, on track. You'll come up with your own steps once you do enough of these questions. We're going to start off first with referencing the correct portion of the Ontario Building Code to solve these kinds of questions. Then we're going to determine whether or not there is a public corridor in this for this question. And then based on the answer to step number two, we're going to calculate the distance between the exits, the minimum distance. And then as the final step, step number four, we'll come up with the final answer for this. So let's start with step number one. We have to reference the correct portion of the Ontario Building Code. Based on the lecture you just watched for this, which is also linked for you in the description below, we are looking to use this reference right here, which is going to be either clause 3.4.2.31a or 1b under Division B of the Ontario Building Code. And the way that we figure that out is whether or not there is a public corridor. So that's where step number two comes into play. Now that we know the correct reference to use, we have to go to step number two. So from step number two, whether or not there is a public corridor helps us figure out whether we're gonna be using this clause right here or this clause right here. If we look at the question, right? If we look at the question right here, you'll notice that there is indeed a public corridor. Yes, there is a public corridor. So what that means is that we have to use this clause right here. So that is 3.4.2.31a under the Vision B of the Ontario Building Code. So what that means is that because there is a public corridor, the maximum distance between exit has to be less than or equal to nine meters. So it cannot be more than nine meters. Okay. And that distance is calculated as the half of the maximum diagonal this dimension of this floor plan. So that brings us then to step number three. So now for step number three, we have to calculate the minimum distance between exits. And the minimum distance between exits is based on this diagonal distance. Whoops, let me draw that better. This diagonal distance right here, the maximum diagonal distance for the floor plan. That maximum diagonal distance is determined by using Pythagoras theorem, right? It's a squared plus b squared and the square root of that plus on top of that we also have to take that value and divide it by two because the building code says that that's the uh, maximum allowable distance between exits so that's you know to account for smoke okay and we also figured out that because there is a public corridor the maximum distance this can be is nine meters it can't be any more than nine meters so let's fill in the blank a Dimension A is equal to uh, 13, 13 meters right here. Okay. Dimension B is equal to right here. Uh, I see it as 10 meters for this question, 10.0 meters. So then when I do the calculation of this whole thing, best two out of three times, I get 8.2 meters. Okay. Now here, here's the common mistake that uh, you could make if you're new at the Ontario Building Code, right? And doing these calculations, it's forgetting about this one half, okay? So 
I, once you do everything, you also have to remember to divide by 2 to get 8.2 meters. Finally, before we move on to step number 4, that is determining what the final answer is, we have to ask ourselves, is the condition of this public corridor being met? That is, is, it, is this 8.2 meters no more than 9 meters? The answer is, yes, that's correct. So now we have all the information we need to move on to step number four. Based on step number four, now that we know what the dimension is, what that distance is, that half distance, it's 8.2 meters here. And because it is no more than nine meters, the answer is 8.2 meters. And there you go. I hope that was helpful.